This week, the Nunavut and federal governments announced $194 million to go toward eight infrastructure projects across six communities. The federal contribution is $129.9 million, while the territorial government is contributing $64.8 million. The bulk of the funding will be going toward water and wastewater treatment plants in Arctic Bay, Grease Fjord, Pond Inlet, Rankin Inlet, and Resolute Bay. And it's essential that we recognize that every community in this country, uh, regardless of which region, has, a, uh, has safe and reliable drinking water. Uh, it's something that we too often take for granted uh, in the South. And it's important that we realize that if we're going to ensure that every community has access to reliable water, that we make the investments to turn that into a reality. While the funding was previously allocated in the federal budget, Fraser clarified these are new decisions on how to spend some of that funding. Nunavut MP Lori Idlout said it's a move in the right direction for a territory facing significant infrastructure gaps. Uh, as the uh, MP for Nunavut, I'm always fighting for more resources to come to Nunavut uh, so that we could make sure that there are better supports, better resources that Nunavut Mute can use uh, towards the improvement of well-being, health and well-being for Nunavut Mute. Additional investments include the purchasing of wheelchair accessible vehicles in Pond Inlet and Resolute, as well as a $25 million contribution toward the Kivalak long-term care facility in Rankin Inlet, which is already under construction. Trevor Wright, APTN National News, Iqaluit.